Hey, welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial, I will show you how to write a code to use an SRTO layout. Okay, um, I just created a single view application project. By default, there will be a single view controller. And in this case, I will not create a user interface in the storyboard because I want to uh, simulate a situation where we have to use the NS Auto Real programmatic way. Mm -hmm. uh, and you see, um, uh, I create a couple, a couple uh, of variable where view and green view. This is the uh, um, our user user interface variable. Okay, to show you how to create a constraint. Uh, I will call setup view in the widget load. Okay, we will take a look uh, in this method. In this method, you will see I just assign UI view objects to red and the green view, and I turn off the property um, translate auto sizing math uh, into constraint. Okay. In order to use NS Auto Real programmatically, you have to turn off this mode first. Okay. Otherwise, the calculation will go wrong. And I just assign the correct color, red color, to the background color of red view and to the green view with. Uh, green color and okay right now we already uh, create a user interface we just add our user interface to the root view with a sub view and you will see that um, right now we already create our user interface right but when you run application you will not see any user interface appearing on our skin uh, because um, we have when yes uh, define the position and the dimension uh, to our user interface uh, okay, so we'll get back to our code, and you will see um, I have created a six different, uh, six different example. Okay, in each example, uh, it will it will show you how to write a code to create a constraint uh, by using um, visual format language VFL. Okay, let's take a look uh, first example. Sorry. Okay. In first example. Uh, first, uh, I just create a dictionary uh, to assign this variable to to the uh, red view object. Mm -hmm. We need the dictionary to explain um, to tell in its um, real constraint to know uh, which object this variable are uh, mentioned. Okay, which object this variable is mentioned in the command. This is a kind. Uh, this is an example of VFL. Uh, uh, VFL language. Mm -hmm. You will see that uh, I will create four constraints uh, with the same method by using uh, an SVL constraint and call the constraint with for a uh, visual format. Okay, it's same every every line, uh, and uh, we use the same argument. We use the basic uh, argument, uh, basic parameter. Okay, um, and we just uh, check a bit at the command. In every constraint, uh, and you will see that every uh, command um, there will be H and V. H and V is stand for the orientation, uh, or it stand for the orientation mode. Uh, if you see H is horizontal, okay, and you if you see V uh, is a vertical mode, uh, and you will see that every user interface and here is a red view, okay. Here uh, red view is our user interface. Um, it have to be uh, covered by a bracket. Okay, every command. Um, in short, the user interface have to be covered by the bracket. And you see this one hundred and this one hundred. Okay, in in this case, it's the dimension. Uh, uh, for in horizontal mode, this dimension is stand for width, and this stand for height. Um, for the dimension, it have to cover by the parentheses. Mm -hmm. And right now, I think you can guess that this is a width. Right, this is the width of our user interface uh, of uh, this led view, and this is the height, okay, because it's a vertical. And yes, we right now have the um, uh, the dimension for our user interface, and you can get that this is a um, this is a way to define the position in the horizontal mode and position in the vertical mode. Um, for the first pi, okay. For the first pi, in the in the horizontal mode, uh, it stands for uh, the left edge of your skin. So you can get that this value is the left margin, okay. 
it did tan it the margin between your left edge of your skin right, the left edge of your skin and uh, it's a left view okay you will see this one and you can guess it's a top margin okay this is where to define the top margin because it's the top edge of your skin and this is the top margin and okay I think right now we already have information uh, enough to um, to tell it's auto how to draw our user fit we just add a constraint this constraint to our root view by using add constraint okay I will run and see uh, how it work you see that um, the auto real will draw uh, a square uh, that has the dimension 100 by 100 and uh, you will see that the, the left margin is 50 point I think it's the last 50 point okay and the top margin 50 point also uh, and um, I will change a little bit uh, at this value okay um, to see uh, how it works okay I think uh, it should make you uh, more understand okay you will see it have more margin and I will change uh, the value back to original and I will um, remove this to make uh, the left mar uh, to let to, uh, to make the left margin flexible and to make the top margin flexible and I will uh, fix okay I will fix the right margin instead by um, as this code okay and I will fix the bottom margin instead by add this code you can get that uh, in this case for the last pipe it will stand uh, it will stand for uh, right edge of your skin and in the vertical mode this should stand for uh, the bottom edge of your skin so this is a line margin for this value is a line margin and this is a, a bottom margin okay uh, okay I will run and you can get that the, you know, the square view uh, move down to this position from the top position okay okay and this is an example uh, to show how uh, uh, to show you how to write a code to, put, uh, to create a constraint mm -hmm. and you see that um, there still have other example and I will show you uh, how it works in the next video okay thank you for watching this tutorial see you next time